Okay, hi and a very good day. So let's continue the second part of our video session. Okay, so for this video, I will show to you on how to do some basic descriptive analysis for single series and a group series. Alright, okay, uh, this is basically uh, the data series that we read in the previous video. Okay, you can click and open each of these data series individually alright ok uh, ok and ok uh, individually so suppose that we want to do some basic descriptive analysis uh, towards demand variable ok because demand is our dependent variable so let's take a look at uh, some basic descriptive analysis for demand ok what we do we click view and you will have a few of selection here alright and uh, we'll, sel uh, we'll go for descriptive statistic and test and we select histogram and stack ok uh, now uh, what eviews do is uh, eviews will give you a histogram and also some basic descriptive analysis such as mean, median, maximum ok minimum standard deviation, skewness, ketosis right uh, EVS also give you a normality test uh, namely okay, Jacobera test right ok so uh, suppose that uh, you want ok uh, it is best if we uh, save our output here ok what we can do is we click freeze and we name uh, this series as ok what happen alright if you name your object okay here uh, if you close uh, this graph okay uh, you can okay we can revisit the graph by clicking this uh, this icon here right uh, you will get uh, what we we'll, uh, we save before this okay and uh, okay you also can uh, Okay, produce a okay, stack stable okay such like this okay basically because we do for individual series this is what it will look like right okay uh, you also can uh, save this output okay okay table demand right okay so uh, you will get a new icon here for table demand and we also can plot the graph here ok uh, suppose that you want to plot a graph and uh, for this demonstration I show to you on how to perform line graph ok select line graph and just click ok and you will get a line graph for demand ok uh, because we assign the period before we import the file okay as we can see here right it is nicely done by a view and uh, for the purpose of explanation okay it is good for us okay uh, and it is uh, it is more informative rather than it just become one two three four five okay it is uh, more informative and we actually can copy alright and you can paste it ok uh, you can paste it uh, suppose that you want to use this uh, graph for analysis ok uh, you can copy and paste it into word ok right so basically this is for uh, ok for single series what if you want to do analysis for group series ok what, what you can do ok you can select several series and remember okay uh, eviews will uh, organize the series uh, according to the order that you uh, your selection right uh, as an example here suppose that demand is i know demand is my db so i select this first okay i click demand okay uh, you okay uh, demand control and you, you pick price Okay, price different 
Okay, uh, maybe in this price first. Okay, price different and sorry, and uh, okay, advertisement expenditure. Okay, and uh, okay, I uh, right click and I will okay open it as group. Okay, what happened here? Okay, the spreadsheet will contain all the uh, variable that we select and it will uh, it will organize according to our selection previously okay so what happened okay uh, suppose that we want to perform basic descriptive analysis for this group series okay view okay descriptive statistic okay as you can see here the drop down menu is a little bit different when we perform a single series Alright, so when we want to uh, okay do some discrete statistic, okay, uh, there will be two option here: common sample and individual sample. Okay, this is actually uh, how uh, if you dealing with missing value, right? Uh, if you consider it is a common sample, if there is any missing value in any variable, okay, if you will uh, exclude all the row in a particular okay period of time if uh, we select common sample but as we can see here there is no missing value right uh, so you can click common sample and you will get this output all right again you can uh, save this output okay and you can name it as okay uh, step group okay any name as long as you understand uh, if you want to okay as long as you understand okay uh, okay the icon is uh, okay the icon depends on what 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 is the object that we uh, save right okay so okay uh, this is basically the descriptive statistic for each of the variable okay uh, it it also important uh, to okay uh, to check some uh, basic uh, maybe you can check the correlation among the variable okay so what you can do okay uh, click here covariant analysis All right and uh, for this particular demonstration i will just tick correlation and i untick covariant okay so what i'll get Okay, I will particularly will get the correlation uh, between each variable. Okay, demand with price. Okay, demand with uh, industrial average industrial price. Okay, demand with price different and demand with uh, advertisement expenditure. Okay, it is good to check the correlation so that we have an idea that demand have a linear relationship between price and the degree of the relationship so suppose that we can see here demand and price have i will say moderate negative relationship okay uh, demand and average in the uh, in this, uh, average industrial price uh, there will be a strong positive relationship okay this is also strong positive relationship and uh, demand and advent, uh, advertisement expenditure also have a strong positive relationship okay uh, furthermore we can check uh, if there is uh, okay multicollinearity problem here, okay, just uh, first the the first signs of multicollinearity problem, okay, we don't want uh, the IVs to have to correlate with each other, and as we can see here, okay, price different and industry price have a quite strong positive relationship, so we might not want to uh, to put it together if we want to. Okay, suppose that we want to model a multiple regression after this. Okay, we might not want to consider to put this together. Alright, again, you can save this output. Or you can, you also can copy. Alright, and paste it. Okay. Accordingly. That you've, uh, okay, accordingly. Alright, so, um, okay, are you... Okay, so for this, uh, okay, uh, okay, name it first. Okay, table. Okay, right. So you, we can also plot the graph. Okay, uh, suppose that we want to plot a line graph. Okay, but 
uh, when you exploring uh, group okay uh, make sure that okay make sure that you select a correct okay co correct option so that uh, we don't get any unwanted graph okay as example here okay if you want to plot line graph okay uh, the option here okay you can have all the variable in a single graph okay or we can have a multiple graph so that if use we plot uh, the graph uh, the graph uh, individually okay for this purpose i will pick this option and i click okay right so if use will give you uh, this particular graph okay individually okay uh, suppose that you want to plot a scatter plot Okay, uh, you can also pick this scatter plot, and uh, by default it will choose multiple graph first versus all. Okay, demand versus all variable, uh, another variables. Okay, you click OK. Okay, as you can see here, uh, eViews will give you a scatter diagram. Alright, demand with price, demand in this price. Okay, uh, demand with price different and demand with as uh, investment expenditure. Alright. You can also copy and paste it. Okay. Right. Okay. So, uh, okay, basically, uh, that's all for this video session. Okay, hopefully, uh, you enjoy this video. And if you have any feedback, okay, uh, you can straight uh, contact me. And also, you can subscribe my uh, channel uh, through YouTube channel. Okay. So, again, thank you. I'll see you uh, for the next video. Okay. Bye.